Hey guys, this is Suha from Array and in this video we will learn how to copy an object in Illustrator in various different ways. So we all know that the conventional way to do it is using Ctrl C and Ctrl V but you may or may not know there are other ways to copy that fits your project requirements specifically. So let's see what are those ways and if you like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I make videos on Illustrator and Photoshop. I also have a series of videos on fashion design rendering techniques and you will find all the links in the description bar if you are interested. So without any further ado let's get started. So basically there is nothing wrong with Control C and Control V but sometimes we want something more specific for our project. Let me show you how if we use Control C how it works. So let's copy everything. Let's copy this rectangle that we have using Control C and then paste it using Control V. So as you can see that it has pasted the object randomly anywhere on the artboard we did not define that location illustrator has assumed and placed it just randomly on the artboard so sometimes we don't want that we now we have to go manually place the object where we want it to be and that's not what we want so how we can fix that is uh, let's delete this one so suppose i want my object just right in front of this object exactly where this object is so how we can do that is we are gonna hit ctrl C and instead of ctrl V to paste we are gonna say ctrl F to paste it may seem that it didn't do anything but if I move this you will see that a new uh, copy of that object has been made and placed on top of it exactly so there is one other thing you can do when you want to uh, place it uh, when you want to place it on the back and that's exactly the same as control C for copy and control B to paste in back so now the object is placed in the back so those are two convenience where you can copy in Illustrator one other thing I want to show you is is drag and drop it is very convenient I use it all the time it saves a lot of time all you have to do is select the object and hold down the alt key and drag and drop you can make multiple copies of like this just holding the alt key that's all you need to do drag and drop holding the alt key will make multiple copies of that object so now I want to share with you something that is a little more interesting and it will be very helpful in a lot of your projects what i want to do i want to copy this object and i also want to rotate it so i have defined a center point for this object and my i want my object to be rotated around that center point so what i will do now is hold down the alt key as i said before if you want to copy then you need to hold down the alt key so i'm holding down the alt key and i'm moving my object and that's how i want so if i leave it so if i leave the all the keys the mouse and the alt key then as you can see that it has made a copy of that object and it also rotated it so now i want to repeat that all that command all that we did we, i want to copy i want to rotate but i don't want to go back to the rotate tool and hold down the alt key and i don't want to go through all that hassle what I can do is use a very simple command that will recreate all those command all together. So first thing we do is select the one that we just rotated and we just made a copy of and then we'll click control D. As you can see it has now rotated the object as well as made a copy of it. So you can do it several times as, as much as you want. Control D, Control D, Control D. So we can create different shapes with this technique and I think it is very useful in a lot of the project where uh, you need to, you know, do the same thing over and over and over again. I hope this video was helpful and if you did find it helpful, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.